All right, check it out. New study containing the Tras gene. The data's here. We're going to be talking about it and why it's not what you'd expect. Nitrogen, obviously being the blood pumping ingredient from Nutrition 21, has a new study on it showing working memory improvements, which is actually kind of interesting because we, you know, we know that new level, the gaming supplement version of Nitrogen with added inositol, is studied in different ways to differentiate the two. But obviously, having a, you know the same base of arginine silicate improving blood flow in one case to muscles, in the other case to the brain. But we have a really cool scenario here where Nitrogen is being afforded more focus and memory claims, which is really cool because if you're getting nitrogen in a pre-workout, you now have access to some of those claims that have to do with focus, time, memory, stuff like that, what we're going to discuss in this study. Some may think that this actually kind of seems flippy floppy, but I love the way that Nutrition 21 is doing this so that no matter where you get this arginine silicate, you're getting a help in terms of both blood flow or focus. Obviously, knowing that focus is important for the gym, blood flow to muscles isn't as always important for video games. But anyway, let's jump into the study and talk about how it worked. So digging into the study, it's kind of important to talk about the context for the research. And what I really like about in the blog post that Mike did was actually talking about whether or not nitrogen helps healthy people. And this is a big concept when we talk about data, because a lot of times to help out studies, we're often looking at patients with deficits of some sort, and they need help getting back to normal. Normal, and that's really where you get the claim of a supplement. But in this case, we're talking about whether or not nitrogen helps healthy people. One of the things we love about Nutrition 21 is the quality of their human data. They're not doing animal data, they're not doing cell culture data, they're talking about actual humans in the actual scenario that we will be talking about. So for new level, that's talking about actual gamers. For nitrogen, that's having people that are actually trained, not elderly, and actually training when using the product and stuff like that. So in this case, obviously it's not about training, but point being Nutrition 21 always has relevant and effective and respectable data. So let's jump in on this one. So for the study design, we're talking about a double blind, randomized and placebo controlled study. This is gonna be like the gold standard of studies, right? 19 young adults. We're already talking about young adults here, which I love. You know, uh, oftentimes with focus or memory products, we can talk about elderly patients, which really is not relevant to what we're talking about on this channel most often. They're going to be between the ages of 18 and 28 were selected for the study. Being medically evaluated to make sure they had no conditions that could affect the outcome of the study, they were randomized to one of two groups. A placebo group that received eight grams of dextrose or a nitrosogen group that received eight grams of dextrose plus 1.5 grams of nitrosogen. Subjects visited the laboratory for two separate sessions that were at least seven days apart. They were given the assigned supplements and made to wait 60 minutes. After waiting the 60 minute digestion period, each session consisted of administering a variety of cognitive tests to both groups before and after supplementation. So we're talking about repeatable battery for assessment and neuropsychological status. R bands is what I'm going to call that going forward because I'm not going to say that this whole time. A test whose scores uh, correlate so strongly with those of IQ tests like the Wechsler Intelligence Scale that it itself is basically an IQ test. The R bands results showed statistical significance for nitrogen supplementation. The statistical significant increase in the nitrogen group performance compared to the placebo came in at the subtest for immediate memory, which is defined as the ability of an individual to recall information recently presented. In other words, your immediate memory is the limited amount of information information you can hold in your mind for the purpose of actively learning. Because of this, immediate health is often a measure of cognitive health. People with good cognitive health typically have good short-term memory. I'll put the graph up on the screen to kind of show you what pre and post nitrogen and placebo looked like. And you'll see after taking nitrogen, they placed about the 64th percentile of test takers on average with a whopping 27% increase in their scores of the immediate memory subtest. Now the effect of the immediate memory subtest improvement was big enough that the overall R band score shown in this graph that we'll put up now significantly improved overall. And what's actually kind of interesting is that the, the effect size of the R band's immediate uh, memory subtest improvement was big enough that the overall R band score of those taking the transgene was significantly improved. And what's kind of interesting is that the placebo group actually scored slightly worse after the post supplementation of the placebo. So let's put this study back in context for nitrosogene. Previously shown to enhance cognitive flexibility in tests such as the trail making test, 
and also been shown to improve or maintain cognitive performance under certain conditions, such as athletes immediately following strenuous exercise. This is a significant move here. Now, we actually would love to see nitrosogene with more research as a potential nootropic, but realize that new level is probably going to get the love when it comes to serious data in terms of nootropic status. So now that nitrosogene has shown in early data to, as a promising ingredient for support in immediate memory, we're hoping that more studies are going to come out with larger data sets and groups. Based on what we know about nitrosogene or new level, whatever way you want to look at it in human physiology, we're pretty sure that future studies are going to confirm the findings of this study, especially with larger groups of people. So for now, if you're looking for cognitive edge in your pre-workout, check out a product using nitrosogene. We've been big proponents of this ingredient. It's an awesome one. The quality is uh, unmatched and the data is super helpful because Nutrition 21 puts their money where their mouth is and really funds quality human clinical studies. As always, I do have to say, we work with Nutrition 21. I travel with them quite often. They take us to shows uh, where we talk about actual science behind the scenes, like the ISSN conference of 2021. So with that all being said, that, that's all out there. But the data you really cannot argue with. I hope this was helpful and informative. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.